How's it going? Um, so we did a little bit of a different setup today and we will get to that in a minute. First, uh, my hair is more pink than it was yesterday. It is a lot more pink than it was it's yesterday. It's a lot more pink than it was yesterday. Um, it I... is more Sydney Bristol. Bristow. Bristow pink hair wig. I don't yeah. I mean that in a it's compliment. Not a wig, I promise. It's not but a wig. it is it's more hair. like holy cow, what's going on? I personally love it. Good. I'm glad. Um, so How do you feel today? Because I feel like yesterday you were like, oh, I love it. But then you came home kind of like, it's pink. It's really pink. I went to meet her outside, brought Dex to go for a walk when she was coming home. Clearly saw her two and a half blocks away. Yeah, it's very bright. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I know it's going to fade. Uh -huh. So that is what I'm, I guess, the most happy about. The thing that I was concerned about before were uh, the amount of roots showing. So I went back and I got them to amp it up and to fix the root situation. So there are, there are no new no roots, uh, but it's also very, very bright. And it was amazing how much it faded over the course of a week. Um, so we'll see how quickly this fades. It'll probably fade pretty quick. We'll but it's pink. But it's really pink right now, guys. So it's really pink. But that's not really what we're here to That was about your today. day. Yeah. Today, Thursday, August 10th, I finally played a full game of Warhammer. And it wasn't with me. It wasn't with her. We tried to play. I think that's the most, the biggest thing is right. that it wasn't with me. We tried playing like a month ago, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And then just things came up, so we had to stop. It was we were learning to play yeah. while um, playing, and it just took a long time to constantly reference the instruction booklet and see what was going on, check online for something because even the instruction booklet was just weird, even though it's not. We it figured just, it out eventually. It took a really long time. So Will came over yesterday, and I felt somewhat more comfortable playing. Gave him some time to read over the instructions. I glanced at things again too. And I'm going to say 99, 98% we were like, yep, that's what happens. I did call you up. You had one question, one? which I don't know that I answered, but I educated, so. It made sense, it made sense. We both, that's what he thought the answer was, and I, I wasn't sure, clarified with her. I can look online for that next time. I forgot exactly what the question was. Do you remember what the question was? Uh, something about uh, assault with a D3, but having two weapons in your hand. Right, right. It was it was with these guys. Emma calls them Titanfall guys. If because they're th falling in like in Titanfall. They attack good name for with them. D3 dice or D3, yeah, D3 dice? I don't know. Regardless. Yeah. We weren't sure if it was supposed to be D3 per gun or D3 per character. We went with D3 per character. That seemed right. As long as the rule is the rule that you stick to for the whole game, it doesn't necessarily matter if it's right or wrong right. in that instance. Like, it, that's such a minor thing that if you find out later that it was wrong, it's like, you guys yeah, can play the it. game the right, one way the whole time, it's gonna be fine. Speaking funny. of a minor rule weirdness, my guy, my bloat drone, bloat. Um, I ended up giving him like two or three damage, I think by mistake, because I use what's called an invulnerable save, which is rolling a four or higher when Will attack me. I really should have used a three or higher okay. defense. Um, you only go to the four if- All hell has broken loose. Right. It's weird, but if any of you watch Warhammer or know about Warhammer, that might make sense to you. Anyway, it was great. This is not how the battle ended up. It looked somewhat like this for a while. Um, we kind of evenly wiped each other out. So that was fun. But the whole thing of our game objective was whoever held an objective token 
those cool objectives that I painted, guys. That I painted. There are four of them on the table. And then there's one, like, ammo case here. Whoever holds an objective marker at the end of the game gets two victory points. The I had one guy hanging out by an objective token, and I had this kind of an army here, which was dumb. I should have fallen back, but I did not. Instead, I stayed engaged with his guys. So his last turn was to fall back at that objective token yeah. to get the two victory points. The problem is, where was his guy? He had this guy who was his captain, and I ended up killing him. Don't you feel special? I do feel special. Because of that, I was able to roll a D3 to see how many extra victory points I got. But it came down to him attacking my guy last minute. Like, he just... Everybody he had left was just shooting at him. Uh, and I just kept rolling save after save after save. It worked out. And, and it didn't work out in Will's favor. We were tied 2-2. Two, two. I then rolled a D3, not needing to. Because even if I would have gotten a 1. You would have still won. But I got the 3 extra points. So I beat him 5-3. 5-2. Five to, three, five to two. And feels very special. I do, I do. For your first time. I'm really proud of them. For your first time playing a game that okay i won't say you from my first time playing a game that i own i kind of want to win you don't want like oh i just got this game guys let's play and you're like oh i remember the first time i played that and i got spanked it's kind of embarrassing I'm not sure how much i like that isn't game isn't that anymore. every time you play a game with me the truth the truth hurts Truth truth. I hate most of these board games because I've never won in the first time I played them. But Warhammer, forever, as time goes forward, I you won the first, won game. The first game. Technically, I can stop right now and Unde retire undefeated. Yep, I can retire undefeated too because I haven't played a full game. Anyway, um, speaking of board games, this coming Sunday is Social Sunday again, Social Sunday. where we will do a live stream and chat with you guys, and we are going to be talking about Gen Con, because Eric will be there. It's all Gen Con week. all the time? I guess so. Uh, so we're going to talk about Gen Con, we're going to talk about board games that are coming out, things that he's going to be interested in, if he can meet up with any of you, if you guys are there. Um, also, uh, maybe a little bit about Critical Role. Maybe not critical role. The other thing with Gen Con... If you bring it up, then I have to talk about it. If there's a board game that you are interested in kind of checking out, let me know on Sunday. I will try and go to that booth and get some information for you. Um, there's a bunch of really cool games coming out that I'm excited for Eric to go see. Uh, and I know you're working on a list too. So what that means is I am going to a board game convention. And just like any good relationship, my partner is giving me a grocery list that I need to do. No. no so it no, sounds no, like no. there's a bunch of games that I want to, to check out. That's, hey, you're going out? Guess what? Can you bring back some milk, some bread? Fine. Then I'm going to let you figure out your own Gen Con schedule. And I'm not going to tell you what to do. And you're going to be like, well, I didn't know about that. I'm like, yeah, because you didn't read anything. Well, it I, serves you right. I didn't know that they had to grow all the bars because I didn't give you a list. It's true. <laughs> That's actually kind of how Eric shops. So maybe I should give him a list. So there'll be a list given to me. I'm going to have some things. Let me know yeah. if there's something you're interested in me checking out. Yeah. I will try to interview the guy and get some demo playthrough. We'll see. I have no idea how to attack Gen Con. I... First time, noob. First time. Noob. I do feel overwhelmed. I'm not even there, and I'm like, wow. I don't know what to do. You gotta get your, like... I think, um... Get your I, face on. I think I've decided to bring a half-empty suitcase in case I bring back some board games. We'll see what happens. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Overwhelming. 
fine. So Gen Con talk this Sunday on Social Sunday. One o'clock. One o'clock Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Tune in. It'll be a good time. Come hang out with us. I would have just finished running an hour and a half, and this one would have ridden a bike for an hour and a half. An hour. She might do an hour and a half. No. But that's for some other time. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had a great day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.